Every once in a while I get a request from someone asking what games to throw on their NES Classic, besides the obvious stuff like Contra, Castlevania 3, or Blaster Master, or even less obvious stuff like Crystallis, Jackal, or Guardian Legend. So, once you get past the obvious tier, and then the less obvious tier, and then an even less obvious tier of games, you're not going to be left with a lot of decent stuff to choose from, especially when many folks are looking for co-op multiplayer games. Thankfully, there's stuff like Kung Fu Heroes. Yeah, it doesn't look like much, and it doesn't sound like much, and, uh, to be honest, it doesn't really play like much either. But it's still an interesting and fun playthrough, if not a chaotic one. As you can probably tell, this is a top-down beat-em-up, and it was originally made for the arcade in 1984 called Chinese Heroes before getting ported to the Famicom under the title Super Chinese. And if that sounds familiar, it's because it's actually the first game in the Super Chinese series made by Culture Brain that spawned a ton of games throughout the 90s, other recognizable stuff like Little Ninja Brothers for NES, Ninja Boy 1 and 2 for Game Boy, and Super Ninja Boy for Super Nintendo. But it all started with Kung Fu Heroes, and as you might expect, for a game made in 1984, this game is is pretty dang simple. You just beat the crap out of enemies by punching them or jumping on them, or finding items to use on them or whatever. Just survive until the door flashes, you get up there, and you move on to the next wave of enemies in the next room, as represented by this long-ass map here. What's cool is that there is a surprisingly huge number of power-ups and items you can find. One increases your punch, another turns your jump into what's called a miracle kick. There's even enemy-specific items you can find that will take care of enemy types. Like in order to get rid of these purple thwomp things that look like walking filing cabinets, you collect beads. What is this, Mardi Gras? What's really cool here though is that if you're playing two-player, if one of you picks up a power-up, it's good for both players. But yeah, there's also stuff that slows down certain enemies, like a bottle of sake slows down this goofy-ass dragon that you have to fight. Hey, this is my kind of game. Hell, you can even create your own item pop-ups by collecting money. Pick up six money bags and then press A and B at the same time and the letter P drops. And picking that up makes you invincible for a short time. There's also tons of bonus areas you can access that will help you rack up money, points for extra lives, and all sorts of other stuff. I should mention, however, that Kung Fu Heroes comes with a major caveat. This is one of those oddball NES arcade ports where both the controls and the hit detection are a bit off. At least compared to what you'd be used to, but once you play for a little bit and get used to things, you can see that, yeah, the hit detection might be wonky, but at least it's consistently wonky, for the most part. And you can tell this game kind of feels off right away since jump is the B button and punch is A. But yeah, the controls and hit detection definitely feel off. I mean, this top-down angle where both you and your enemies can overlap isn't really helping, and sometimes it can be hard to tell when you're doing damage. Well, in that case, just punch a boulder at someone. Hey, that works for me. But yeah, this is just a quick video on this weird little game that I found pretty fun, almost despite itself. This is one of those seemingly broken NES games that's somehow endearing enough to win you over because the gameplay is so simple, yet there's so much random crap happening that you'll end up saying out loud, what the hell just happened? Where am I? What am I doing? Is that a one-up sound from Mario? Are those sounds from Kung Fu? Yes, those actually are recycled sounds from Super Mario Bros. and Kung Fu, and yes, Kung Fu Heroes is a chaotic mess, and yes, it's kinda wonky and tough to get through, but I still managed to enjoy it, especially with a second player. Alright, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.